here with the Yellow Mamba, who's fresh off the free throw line. What's it like to have ice in your veins and six such crucial free throws when the team really needs you? Well, you know, with the team up 16 points with 30 seconds left, I was just going over my head to stay calm because, you know, without those two free throws, the game would have really been in jeopardy. So, uh, you know, I just was trying to do the best to uh, come out with the victory against uh, Wake Forest. Good, good, good. Uh, the announcers mentioned that the game, they talked about your propensity to ask questions and, and your aspirations. Where did this all come from? Um, well, you know, I've always uh, just been a curious guy, and, uh, you know, I saw a shoot-around. They had a couple weird buttons on the board, so I uh, couldn't help myself. I saw Mike Jaminski in his uh, unique little ring, so I was like, well, this guy looks a uh, little odd himself, so I might as well go up and uh, put him on blast for his button board right in front of him. Good, good. Yeah, the G-Man, he's a little creepy sometimes. Yeah, a little odd. Well, can you tell us about how you came to get the nickname, the Yellow Mamba, and how old you were at the time? Well, I actually got it uh, this year uh, at age 21. Uh, the old nickname, the Danimal, I guess is taking the back seat to the Yellow Mamba. Uh, my good friend Mikey Detroit originally just uh, was trying to make a racial joke, and uh, it's kind of just caught on, though, so Yellow Mamba just seems to be sticking. Your race is obviously a rarity in athletics, especially college basketball. Do you embrace the fact that, that you're a little bit more yellow than most out there? Yeah, I gotta throw it down for the uh, Asians. Asian pride, baby. Okay, uh, what are your feelings about Blue Steel's net worth being deemed around $375 according to the latest state auctions? And do you feel that the sub-$1,000 price is a symptom of our economic downturn? Well, uh... Seeing that the trio of Dexter Strickland, Reggie Bullock, and Leslie McDonald went for a 550, uh, I was a little disappointed that Blue Steel uh, was sold for under that price. Seeing as that we have better dance skills in those three, we have better looks in those three, we have funnier jokes in those three. We pretty much just bring uh, more to the table, but you know, uh, we're team players, and uh, you know we understand the. Uh, Economies in tough times right now, and um, you know, I think if there's another date auction at the end of the year, Blue Steel would go for well over a thousand. Good, good, good. Last question before you get you, before we get you out of here. I know you got a busy schedule. With Valentine's Day out of the way, the next big moment for you is either going to be Senior Night against Duke or the Chinese New Year. Which one are you looking forward to the most? Well, uh, I definitely have to say uh, Senior Night against Duke. You know, a chance to. Uh, win conference, and uh, you know, I'll have many more Chinese New Year's coming my way, and uh, only one senior night, so, you know, hoping that I'll make it a memorable one.